types of problems, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of you know using these kind of uh, helpful tips with logarithms. And but before uh, um, these little helpful uh, properties of logarithms, and they're going to help me kind of solve these logarithms, or at least evaluate these logarithms, I should say. But the main important thing you guys need to know about this is what actually is a logarithm. And I've gone through many other videos on what exactly a logarithm is, but very basically what a logarithm is, is it's, it's an exponent. And what, it, what kind of exponent it is, is if I say the log base 3 of 9, what that says is 3 raised to what value or what number gives me 9. And so this one's a pretty basic one. You could say, well, the answer to that is obviously we know it's going to be 2. Log base 3 of 9 is 2 because I can multiply 3 by itself twice to give me 9. Now here I have log base 7 of 1. So 7 raised to what number gives me 1? Now, um, if you're very familiar with your exponents, you could say, oh, well, that's going to be 0 because 0 raised or 7 raised to the 0 power gives me 1. And what you'll find out is that's actually true for all logarithms and all numbers that anytime, it doesn't matter what our base is, anytime we raise it or whenever we have our base and we're evaluating it for the logarithm of 1, it's always going to equal 0, right? So this answer is going to equal 0. Whenever you're taking the log, it doesn't matter what the base is of 1, it's going to equal 0. Um, here we have a base that's larger than what we're evaluating for. So we need to start thinking about this and say, well, if 16 was raised to the first power, it would be 16. If 16 was raised to the second power, it would be 16 times 16, which is, greater, which is going to be greater than 16. So we need to think of a number that um, is going to be greater than uh, you know, 16. I'm sorry, that, need, that needs to be less than 16. And so that, therefore, my exponent has to be smaller than 1. So I'm going to have to be dealing with a fraction. And a couple ways to kind of think about this is, well, one thing I notice is, you know, 4 and 16, how are those related? Well, you know, 16 is the square root of 4. How else can I write the square root? I'm sorry. 4 is the square root of 16. How else can I write 16? Or, geez, 16 is the square root of 4. How else can I write the square root of 16? Well, you could also write it as... 16 to the 1 half power. The 16 to the 1 half power is going to be the square root of 16. Okay? Then, the last problem what I'm going to do is do log base 3 of 3. So, to do log base 3 of 3, what you need to look at, again, I'm going to look at these two problems. And I'll have base 3 raised to the third power. So, 3 raised to what now number is going to give me 3? You think about that. Well, 3 raised to what number gives me 3? Well, the answer to that is going to be 1. And that's using those uh, properties to evaluate for my logs.